So this is the 2019 Cruiser RV Striker 2613. 34,994, MSRP 47,181, about $12,000 off. Let's take a look inside of this unit before we look at the outside. So this is a toy hauler travel trailer. You can see that it has some really cool seating here, as well as this back area and of course the bunk that comes down so you can sleep a lot of people in this unit. This is gonna kind of cross as your dinette as well. Up front you can see the TV up here. It kind of would have been nice to put the TV maybe over here, that way it's in front of the seats. But overall it's not that bad and it's got a pretty good sized kitchen as well. So traditionally, this type of floor plan doesn't have the greatest kitchen layout. There's a subwoofer built into it. Lots of nice kitchen space. Again, this is your dinette area. And when everything kind of moves out of the way, you have a lot of room for whatever toy you might want to take with you. Of course, these are going to slide up and fold up into the walls. And then these you're going to have to physically move out of the way so you can pull in whatever type of vehicle you'd want to put in here. Here's all your controls, and you can see it is already wired for solar. This is a pretty cool unit. Has twin air conditionings, one up front and one back here. Going up towards the front, here is the bathroom, and it is a very good sized bathroom. Tiny little mirrors, but you have a good sized sink, lots of countertop space on each side, very nice height to the shower area. This is usually a place that a lot of travel trailers kind of suffer, but because this is a toy hauler with a very tall ceiling, you could easily be as tall as you need to be to get in here. I don't really know anybody who would ever hit their head up there. Lots of large cabinet space in here. And what's really cool, it has a king-size bed. So this has room for a king-size bed, which means it's going to be a wide-body design. You have room on each side of it. The height above the bed is also really nice as well, so you don't have to worry about hitting your head on this top piece of wood right here. Not a tremendous amount of room in front of the bed, but it's more than you typically see on travel trailers. Let's take a look at the outside of this unit. So this does have Rainier tires, 16 inch, and it uses the Dexter Easy Flex suspension sits on a 12 inch i-beam frame which is also very nice especially for the length of this this is only going to be about 30 feet long total up front it is not a full pass through storage pass about halfway through but it's about three and a half feet wide and about 15 inches tall so there is quite a bit of room in there you can see it uses a traditional scissor style jacks fiberglass aluminum framed unit has a huge window over here power tongue jack dual propane tanks has some cool LED lighting up front coming around to the side let's look at the numbers so this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,800 pounds Wow and a cargo capacity of 4,888 pounds. This is a very, very heavy travel trailer. Can hold almost 5,000 pounds of weight as well. Here's your generator box. This is where essentially you would install your generator. That's why you have this radiant heat shield that goes around it. Very cool. I would have preferred that they put a higher rated tire since it is a 16 inch wheel. They could have put like a Saloon G rated tire on here, which is what I would have recommended, especially with a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,800 pounds. Overall though, this is a really cool unit. Very, very high payload rating and a very heavy RV. If you have a lot of weight over the back, you're going to want to be very careful how you load it up because it could lead to some instability just from weight and balance. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again soon.